torpedoed ship is loaded with ammunition and 32 Russian-built tanks. Coming up here on World News this Sunday, the executives who made millions while Wall Street tanked. The gender debate among conservative Christians. If Sarah Palin can lead the country, why can't she lead a congregation? And remembering Paul Newman, the Hollywood legend with an extraordinary legacy. I'm the best you ever seen. This is World News, brought to you by Cheerios. So you're looking to lower your cholesterol. Well, you're not alone. Because millions of Americans are. So Cheerios gave away a million bowls of cereal. Why? Because Cheerios can help lower your cholesterol 4% in six weeks. Not long at all. Just six weeks. So join the challenge and get $6 in coupons at CheeriosChallenge.com. What's so special about Olay Total Effects? Try seven powerful anti-aging therapies that brighten, hydrate, smooth, refine the look of pores, even tone, reduce the look of lines, and lock in moisture, all in one clever little bottle. And now introducing Total Effects with a touch of foundation for a more even-toned, younger look. A totally new way to love the skin you're in. Women are learning that as we age, it's harder to build bone density with calcium alone. Introducing Citrical Plus Bone Density Builder, the only calcium supplement with genistein, found naturally in soy and proven to significantly build bone density. Citrical. Where does depression hurt? Everywhere. Who does depression hurt? Everyone. Depression is emotional. Sadness, loss of interest, and it's physical too. Aches, pains, fatigue. Cymbalta can help. Cymbalta is a prescription medication that treats emotional and painful physical symptoms of depression. Tell your doctor right away if your depression worsens or you have unusual changes in mood or behavior or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Cymbalta is not approved for children under 18. People taking MAOIs or thioridazine or with uncontrolled glaucoma should not take Cymbalta. Taking Cymbalta with NSAID pain relievers, aspirin, or blood thinners may increase bleeding risk. Tell your doctor about all your medicines, including those for migraine, to avoid a potentially life-threatening condition, and about your alcohol use or if you have liver disease. Dizziness or fainting may occur upon standing. Side effects may include nausea, dry mouth, and constipation. Ask your doctor about Cymbalta. Depression hurts. Cymbalta can help. What's making Americans especially angry about the huge Wall Street bailout is that while small businesses are starving for loans and ordinary Americans are cutting their budgets, some of the people blamed for this mess are walking away with millions. Here's ABC's Gigi Stone. With so many average Americans feeling pain, it's only natural that they would be looking for someone to blame. Devastation. Devastation. Like Lorraine Hatkinson in Florida, whose husband spent his life working in the Bear Stearns mailroom. She lost $7,000 her retirement money. A lot of the CEOs, they have, you know, get these million dollar payouts when they leave the company. And the little guy, when he loses, he loses. The CEOs at the center of the current storm made a combined income of nearly a billion dollars over the past three years. There were probably 15 major financial executives who ignored the warning signs. They were living life in the fast lane and didn't want to, uh, didn't want to stop. James Kane, former chief of Bear Stearns, made more than $50 million in the last two years. Richard Fault, head of Lehman Brothers, took home $62 million last year. Washington Mutual's Alan Fishman was on the job just three weeks before his bank failed. He's eligible for $18 million. But some economists say the real problem is not how much CEOs are paid, but how they are paid. Big rewards when things go well, but no real penalty when things turn south. It's heads you win, tails somebody else loses, and it's been a big factor in the craziness that led to the current meltdown. One possible solution, spread out executive pay over a longer term. So CEOs must think beyond the next quarter. 
There will be salary caps for CEOs taking the bailout. Some consolation for taxpayers, but of little value to Lorraine Hatkinson. Gigi Stone, ABC News, New York. There is actually more than one bailout on the table this weekend. With very little fanfare, Congress approved a $25 billion rescue plan for the auto companies. A huge move that on any other day might be leading this broadcast. ABC's Eric Hong has more. It's been an expensive month for taxpayers. And now, add Detroit's big three to the bill. Well, it's a reflection of how far the mighty have fallen. After years in the red, General Motors, Ford, and Chrysler are now betting on green, hoping by 2010 to replace their losing lineup of gas guzzlers with next-generation hybrids and plug-ins. Accomplishing that is no small feat. Factories like this one will have to be retooled, and that requires time, money, and good credit. Three big things the big three lack. So for the past 18 months, Detroit has been lobbying Congress for up to $50 billion in loan guarantees. $25 billion was budgeted in last year's energy bill. And this weekend, Congress cut the check, a move separate from the massive Wall Street bailout effort. But bailout isn't a word automakers are using. A greener big three, they argue, will reduce the country's dependence on oil. It's not a bailout. It's a good investment between industry and, and government. Oh, I'd call it a bailout. They're having increasing difficulty borrowing money in the private credit markets because there's a high risk of default. In that environment, giving them a government loan is a bailout. The $25 billion loan dwarfs the $1.2 billion Chrysler bailout of 1979 and the $15 billion loan package airlines received after 9-11. And as with the airlines, there's no guarantee it'll save auto industry jobs or improve sales. This won't save Detroit. Only Detroit can save itself. Critics say subsidizing troubled companies sends the wrong message. Well, it means belly up to the bar in Washington, and they'll give you some cash, too, after you've made foolish decisions. An industry running on near empty, now hoping for a fill-up from Uncle Sam. Eric Hong, ABC News, Chicago. Coming up, why some conservative Christians say they would be comfortable having Sarah Palin as their president, but not as their pastor. Back to school. Here we go again. In addition to my job, I'm back to being a drill sergeant, a chauffeur, a personal shopper, a... Back to school stress can weaken your body's defenses. So drink Dan Active. Only Dan Active has LKCI Immunitas cultures and is clinically proven to help strengthen your body's defenses. So I can do the job I like best, be a mom. Get ready for back to school now. What's the best value in arthritis pain relievers? Aleve. It's so strong it can stop arthritis pain all day with just two pills. That would take twice as many Advil or four times as many Tylenol. Two pills, all day relief. That's value. That's Aleve. All around the world, men with erectile dysfunction have taken 36 hours Cialis. Today, men can also be ready with another dosing option, Cialis for daily use, a clinically proven low-dose tablet you take every day, so you can be ready anytime the moment is right. Tell your doctor about your medical condition and all medications and ask if you're healthy enough for sexual activity. Don't take Cialis if you take nitrates for chest pain, as this may cause an unsafe drop in blood pressure. Don't drink alcohol in excess with Cialis. Side effects may include headache, upset stomach, delayed backache, or muscle ache. To avoid long-term injury, seek immediate medical help for an erection lasting more than four hours. If you have any sudden decrease or loss in hearing or vision, stop taking Cialis and call your doctor right away. 36-hour Cialis or Cialis for daily use. Ask your doctor if a Cialis option is right for you. So when the moment is right, you can be ready. I'm Mark Goldston, Chairman and CEO of Net Zero. All internet providers take you to the same internet, so why pay more to get there? Net Zero is only $9.95 a month, and we give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. Call 1-800-NET-ZERO or visit netzero.com. It's endless shrimp at Red Lobster. Indulge in endless choices of your favorite shrimp, including new shrimp and a spicy Cajun butter sauce. It's endless shrimp, our best value of the year, now at Red Lobster. This is a central multivitamin, complete from A to zinc. This is CoraWise, a natural ingredient that can lower cholesterol. Put them together and you get Centrum Cardio, the first and only complete multivitamin that can lower cholesterol. Centrum Cardio. 
ABC News is visiting 50 states in 50 days, looking at the issues facing Americans in this historic election year. Our tour has taken us to 13 states so far, and tonight we're going to go to Kentucky, where Sarah Palin's candidacy has provoked a faith-based debate about gender roles. Perhaps nowhere is the Palin phenomenon more passionately embraced than here at the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary in Louisville. But it's an embrace with a twist. Are you as a group comfortable with Sarah Palin being a heartbeat away from the presidency? Absolutely. Yes. I am very comfortable with that. Would you be comfortable having her as your pastor? No. No, no. Sarah Palin's candidacy has reignited a debate among conservative Christians, some of whom don't think women should be pastors. Both are of equal worth.